Hello and welcome to ET Energy World. I am Sudhir and today we are discussing a very interesting topic of Superfans with Sundar Muruganandan from Coimbatore who is the founder of Superfans and the MD of Vaza Drives, the company that makes Superfans in this country. So Sundar, everybody is talking about Superfan now uh, and uh, you know there is a lot of interest and people are willing to understand what exactly is the concept. Would you, would you brief us on that? Yeah, uh, see we have to look at uh, Superfan in a particular way, that is, it is going to save the precious energy without compromising on the comfort. See, typically when somebody says, you know, you save energy, you might have to sacrifice something for it. But as with super fan, that's not the case. You are going to get plenty of air, just like a regular fan, and then you get some great additional features, like you get remote control, the speed doesn't fluctuate when the supply voltage varies, you know, uh, uh, it can work in very low voltage. So some fantastic features are there. So as a customer or as a consumer, what is it that is there in the fan for me? How much of energy savings will I get, let's say, on, a, on an annual basis? An easy way of explaining this is this. When you run a regular fan, it will consume one unit of electricity when it runs for 13 hours, whereas with super fan, you can run it for 29 hours before it can consume one unit of electricity. That's almost a saving of uh, more than one unit uh, per day, per fan. And uh, people use large number of fans. Typically nowadays a home has minimum four fans. Okay? Basically you're saying it uses the same level of energy but gives uh, you know almost double the output, right? Right, double the output. So what they do is you know, they save quite a bit of money uh, typically, like if you take Tamil Nadu, where they have slab rates, you can move from one higher slab to lower slab, and your electricity charges can come down. Okay, okay. okay? Uh, that many of our customers have experienced. So, other than the direct saving because of the number of units consumed, you also move one slab lower. This is something <coughs> which we did not expect, but our customers told us the stories, how the savings yeah. are even more than what we project. How exactly did the idea of a super fan come to you? How and how did you develop it? The idea mainly came from my partner, Durga Sharan. He came across one article written by an NGO from Pune called Prayas uh, that talked about uh, ceiling fans and overlooked appliance when it comes to looking at energy savings. People talk about geysers, air conditioners, and things like that. But ceiling fans also consume a lot more energy than what they are supposed to. Which year was that? 2009. Then we took about three years to develop. He actually made the prototypes. He tested the concept. Uh, then we saw that we are able to really like save much more than what was anticipated even in that uh, particular article. Because that article not alone really like uh, said, you know, what it is, it threw up some numbers which were mind-boggling. At the time, it said India has about 350 million ceiling fans, 35 crore ceiling fans. At that time, but right. today we have around, I think, 400. Yeah, today it must be really like about 40 crore uh, fans running in India. Okay. And uh, every year, some 40 million fans are being sold. All these fans are consuming almost double the energy of what uh, it can really like consume. So that's a concept of really like super fans. So if all the fans which are operating in the country at the moment, be it households, be it offices, if they were to, let's say, transform uh, into, uh, into super fans or they were to be replaced by super fans, what would be the broadly the kind of energy saving we are looking at? If we are looking at uh, several thousand megawatts of demand coming down, probably in the tune of 10 to 15,000 megawatts. And if you really like see in terms of uh, electricity consumed, uh, probably about 20,000 million units can be saved every year. So how did you, did you develop the idea? First, you know, when uh, Durga realized that uh, there is so much potential is there to save, uh, then we used the technology what uh, we had at that time. Uh, we were experts in uh, motor speed control. Uh, we manufacture uh, VFDs uh, uh, for our OEM customers. At that time, we were looking at uh, making uh, super efficient motors. We chose the technology called uh, BLDC 
motor technology and uh, we were uh, going to make those motors also to complement our uh, uh, VFD technology. So when this application came across, we thought that the first super efficient motor and the associated electronics, we would apply it in ceiling fans because there is uh, so much potential and uh, we thought this is a product which we can strike first. So basically a super fan is uh, basically nothing but a super efficient motor, right? Which is uh, developed uh, by using a particular kind of technology that only you are using. Uh, right. Okay. There are other companies which are trying to use now, but we were the first ones. Uh, this technology was already there in the world used in uh, several other areas, particularly in air conditioning they were using. Uh, our innovation is making it affordable. Though it is uh, still our fan prices twice of the regular fan, in the world market if you see these fans are sold at uh, 300 to 500 dollars and uh, when you bring that technology, that kind of technology in India, it has to be more suited for the Indian consumer's price range. So we did some innovation in the construction of the motor, usage of electronics to bring down the price to this level. So there are countries globally where super fans are sold? Yeah, but not in uh, uh, big volume because of this price constraint. Tell us a little bit about uh, how did uh, you know uh, people react to the entire uh, concept of a super fan when you would have launched it for the first time, which I'm assuming must have been around uh, 2012, right? Right. 2012, we launched it on 12-12-12, okay. which also happens to be the superstar's birthday, and this was super fan. Okay. <laughs> and the superstar <laughs> happens to be? <laughs> Rajnikanth. Okay, okay. So that's why that's why Right, okay. right. Uh, 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 being an SME, we couldn't really like spend a lot on uh, uh, promoting this product by way of advertisements. But we are doing whatever bit we can. Our experiences, uh, so far if someone comes to know about Superfan, they end up buying it. Our experience also shows that not alone they buy it for themselves, and now we see a lot of people are buying Superfan, gifting it you know, to newly married couple for uh, new homes. Okay. Uh, they buy Superfan and gift it. Uh, that's because it's not alone energy efficiency we looked at. We looked at other uh, features like uh, we gave a remote uh, because a lot of people uh, have uh, sleep deprivation now. So <laughs> they don't, if they want to change the speed of the fan in the early in the morning or so, they don't have to really like get up to go and change the uh, regulator. Now they have this uh, remote with which they can uh, change the speed and a lot of elderly people uh, uh, like this. And then we gave a lot of exciting colors to Superfan. We have fans uh, in pink, blue, yellow, orange, purple. Can you, uh, Sundar, give me a quick calculation of, suppose I were to use a normal ordinary fan from any, just like any other company, and uh, how does it compare with a super fan in terms of, you know, at the same level of usage, and uh, beginning from, you know, what would be the increase in cost that I will have, uh, I'll have to bear, and also over a period of uh, how many years would my cost be recovered? and then uh, you know the, the entire cost of running the appliance itself. Is there a comp quick calculation just for uh, you know clarity's sake if you can give us? Yeah d d definitely that's uh, very easy to calculate as I okay. said that you know uh, super fan at top speed uh, uh, takes 29 hours to consume one unit of electricity whereas the regular fan consumes the one unit in 13 hours. So what happens is typically like we use about 10 to 12 hours of the fan at home. The way we have actually done even a minimum user about somebody who will use only for uh, seven, eight hours, even they would be able to recover the cost of super fan within about three, three and a half years. For a typical users, they can do it in about one and a half to two years. And we have offered a five year warranty so that anybody who uses super fan within the warranty period they would have recovered the cost. I mean, you, somebody can calculate if they had invested about 3,500 rupees in the bank, you know, what is the interest rate they are going to get and how much it would have become in five years. Okay. In Superfan, you recover much more than that. Much so we actually say that buying a Superfan is not an expenditure, it's an investment.
tell us uh, about uh, your customer base. Is it that a large part of the customer base is households or is it offices or government, private, what it is? I would say it's really like 50-50. See, with Superfan, we have brought in a concept of something called payback. Otherwise, with appliances, it's more an expenditure, and after that, you spend money on maintaining it, so it's always an expenditure. With Superfan, because it saves energy, it reduces your electricity bill, you can actually look at the payback. So the businesses are interested. Like, we have seen a lot of large PSUs interested in this. Railways is one of our big customers, okay. uh, because their railways is working 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. So there the fans are continuously being used. So when they use super fan, they save a lot of energy and uh, even though the investment is double, the money is recovered even within a year. Power Grid is our customer, uh, Ordnance Factories are our customers, several educational institutions, IITs, NITs, uh, big universities, hospitals. They would account okay. for the bulk of the... Right, uh, for the B2B business. Apart from that, the customers, uh, the domestic customers, the home users, they also love Superfan. It is just that they have to come to know about it. <laughs> yes. How many pieces uh, are you selling currently in a year? Uh, so far we have sold about uh, 100,000 uh, units and uh, it's going up all the time. 100,000 units over the past four years, that's what you're saying? Uh, right, but then it's now picking up really rapidly. The demand is picking up? Yeah, so we are actually putting up a new factory, uh, which will be opened in the next two months. We have the capacity also to really like meet this uh, new demand, what we are uh, expecting, because the customers are becoming more and more aware. We are also coming out with uh, some media plans for advertising. We expect the demand to go up. Currently, like we can produce one fan per minute. One and fan per minute? Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, which is not much really like compared to the fans market in India, but okay. then we can actually put up more lines uh, very quickly. In fact, the new factory will have uh, uh, four lines like this. How has the ceiling fan market in India changed with the introduction of Superfan over the past four years, according to you? Uh, now we see that you know there are uh, other manufacturers trying to really like come up with this uh, similar product. yeah similar product hopefully like uh, we will see some good competition which would uh, make people aware that they should be using super efficient fans so so much uh, of savings it is delivering but tell me if uh, would the would the level of uh, energy efficiency that it is delivering not change at different levels of speeds at which the fan is being run is oh yes, uh, the, see the efficiency, what I'm telling you that 56% what Superfan saves, that's at the top speed. At lower speeds, it can even go up to 70%. If somebody is using at lower speeds, the savings are even so more. My energy consumption will go down by up to 70% if I were to switch over to a Superfan. Yes, th there is a potential, yes. How has the world at large received Superfan as a concept and as a product both? So people would have appreciated you, but I'm sure there will be people who would have initially at least said, you know, this won't work. So can you share some anecdotes with us? We got recognition from really like unexpected quarters. DuPont uh, uh, gave us uh, a Global Sustainability Award uh, last year. And uh, we were the winners. And uh, when we look at the two uh, runner-up companies, they have... Uh, shown that they can save megawatts of uh, power uh, in their operations and uh, we were uh, chosen as winners ahead of them. We asked them, you know, why we were uh, chosen and they had actually done some calculation that uh, if uh, every fan in the world is replaced with super fan, uh, there will be savings of uh, 70 tera units every year. 70 tera units every year? Right. So they said that uh, it's not alone we built this product as a concept. We also launched it in the market as an SME. They appreciated our courage also, apart from the innovation, uh, okay. uh, what we did. Uh, yeah. uh, so that's actually from a perspective of a global organization recognizing our efforts. Because of the features loaded in this, we see even lower income people are really like interested in buying Superfan. A lot of them are buying it and 
they end up promoting it also. Because of the kind of savings it's giving, giving out a period of... Right, savings, time. the comfort level, and they see that they take pride in uh, using a super fan. What is the kind of difference in cost if I were to buy a super fan today? It would be double the price of a regular fan. But uh, this difference you will recover within two years. And what is the warranty period? Super fan has a lot of uh, protective features. Super fan has got a small computer inside, so it monitors the uh, super fans motor so you generally avoid things like replacing the bearings uh, re replacing the burnt coil uh, super fan can trip when the supply voltage goes beyond certain you know, 300 volts or comes below 120 volts so it has got these protective features so we thought we should uh, pass on these benefits to the consumer so we offer five years warranty for Superfan. And the main reason for the, uh, for the higher cost is these features, right? Uh, I would say partly it's because of the uh, duties and taxes. Uh, most of the fans in India are manufactured in uh, places like Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh uh, in the tax-free zones. Yeah. Whereas we manufacture Superfan in Coimbatore, uh, so we end up paying uh, uh, excise duty of 12.5 percent, uh, uh, then VAT of 14.5 percent. So once we pay so much uh, there, then uh, the cost difference becomes so much. You know, we pay almost about 600 rupees in uh, uh, taxes. So we are approaching the government uh, for this. We have approached it through Bureau of Energy Efficiency. For that, there is a glitch and uh, which BIS is working on it. Once they create a standard for uh, super efficient ceiling fans, then I'm hopeful the government will uh, take action and uh, they will give some concession in the taxes, just like how they extend it to solar products. So that, that should actually bring down uh, the cost uh, okay. substantially. Yeah. So the, can you also tell us uh, more about the technology which is you know in, inside the motor which is enabling you to uh, you know kind of run uh, it at super efficient levels? Electrical engineers probably can understand straight away. I will uh, try to put it where uh, uh, anyone can really like understand. Okay. A normal ceiling fan uses uh, single phase induction motors which are uh, cheap to build uh, but they are inefficient. Uh, in Superfan, we use uh, a BLDC motor, which is a permanent magnet brushless DC motor. Okay, simplify the, it. Right. Simplify the it. permanent magnets are there inside the motor. Okay. That takes care of certain portion of the work. Electricity need not energize certain portion of the motor. The permanent magnets take care of it. So, because of that, the, ele ele the electricity consumption in these motors are lower. But then what happens is these motors cannot work directly from the mains, unlike the, unlike the induction motors. So these needs electronics. With electronics controls only, these motors can work. Okay. So that adds to the cost, but then it saves ele precious electricity. And these are, this is patented technology, right? Yes, we do have four pending patents on this the electronics technology, uh, also the construction of the motor. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, one, uh, one thing which I have to ask you, Sundar, is, uh, you know, you've talked about design and uh, everything of the fan. Now, I'm looking at a logo, uh, the Superfan logo. It looks un unbelievably similar to the logo of the Superman. Now, is that, uh, is that something that happened uh, by chance or is there is a design behind it? It, it has to be, right. I mean, the, we have to ask the designer. <laughs> he probably like thought, you know, he coined the word super and uh, he probably like thought, okay, okay. Uh, uh, he probably had some association with that. Sundar, uh, just can you give us an idea of uh, what next? You know, you have you have come so far. You introduced a product like four years ago, and you know it has captured a certain level also in the market. But going ahead, uh, what is the future of the company? Are you looking at newer newer areas to get into, or, or you would expand the same business? In what way? Can you give us some idea? Yeah, definitely. Like uh, we have uh, huge plans for this. Uh, one is in Superfan itself. Uh, we hope to really like achieve 1 million mark uh, uh, by 2018. Uh, 
we are also introducing more and more products because the technology wa what we have is a super efficient motor and a drive electronics to go with that. Uh, what we want to do is our USP would be offer super efficient products with great features the customer would enjoy. Okay. So we will be looking at other appliances used in the home where the motor is inefficient. So we will bring in energy efficiency to it. So we will so also offer what, great features. What kind of appliances are we talking about? Uh, we could, uh, we are planning to bring other types of fans like table, pedestal fans, uh, we would be looking at air coolers, we would be looking at domestic pumps, we would be looking at uh, even air conditioners at some point of time. Okay, okay. And in this entire journey, what is the kind of support you would seek from the government apart from tech stops, for example? I would want government to start using super fan. <laughs> <laughs> no, <you laughs> the government is a big a user of uh, ceiling fans. fans. Yeah. So, yes, yeah. so that's the, that's a that's a first thing I would really like uh, uh, expect. And then the uh, next is really uh, bring out these standards uh, so that uh, people can differentiate between uh, a super efficient product and uh, co compared to that other products. So can you also tell us a little bit about your own personal background, you know, the, the kind of background you're coming from, which would have, I'm sure, helped you in, you know, developing this innovative product. Both myself and my partner, Durga Sharan, are uh, uh, first time, first generation uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, we both are uh, electrical engineers. Uh, I come from, uh, a town called Udumalai Peta near uh, Coimbatore. Uh, uh, we are basically a, an agricultural uh, family. Uh, my grandmother inspired me to uh, start a workshop in her uh, terminology when I was a kid. Uh, then when I was uh, working here, I met uh, Durga. He was my colleague and we decided that uh, we would uh, land up in Coimbatore, uh, close to my native place and uh, uh, start this company. Uh, we have always been an a innovative company. We uh, did some textile products early in our uh, career, uh, which were also perceived as uh, innovative products. Uh, then uh, as the uh, time went on, you know, we were uh, thinking of uh, higher growth, so we started concentrating on uh, motor control products, uh, which is uh, our main business uh, till uh, Superfan came in. Now uh, it's like uh, two different uh, businesses we are looking at. One is a motor control products for the industrial use and then uh, super efficient appliances for the domestic use. Fine, uh, Sundar, with these words, I think, and the hope uh, that you are able to hit the uh, 1 million mark by 2018. I think it was a very nice discussion. Thank you for talking to us. Uh, thank you, Sudhir. Thanks a lot. Thanks.